Hey, welcome back to the shop. As you know, me and Paul have been super busy, did our trip to Texas, completely wiped out and exhausted from that trip. We came back to triple digits here where we live. So that's been no fun. Although these have been such a help. Thank you again to the Owens for sending me these. It throws a nice cool air into my face and my neck area and it's just really refreshing. And I'll be putting that in my link down in the descriptions for those of you that want to find them. I did see some people in Texas wearing them also in the Model A's, so uh, smart thinking. It's kind of hard to get cool in Model A, right? Today I'll be showing you some of the fun stickers that some of the people sent me. I'll be putting those on my toolbox and sharing them with you really quick. And then off to the green mobile to start polishing it. It's time, it needs it. Let's get busy with this. First, the toolbox. First of all, I wanna thank Donna Lee Jones. She sent me this nice letter when we were staying at the hotel. She sent this to the desk with a sticker. Only her letter got to me, but the sticker did not. Sounds like it was a fun one. I saw her later on and uh, she had asked me if I received it. She says it was a good old Texan sticker, or something about Texas kicks butt or whatever it said, but it sounds like it was fun. So I wanna thank her for at least thinking of me. And this awesome sticker is from Bill Robinson from Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is really cool because if you've watched Paul's videos, you'll know that in 2024, this is where they're gonna have the next convention. So that's gonna be very cool. And I love air balloons. Thank you, Bill. And thank you, Alan Pedersen. He sent me a whole bunch of smaller stickers because he knew that I need some for my drawers. That's awesome. So we've got ones like this. And thank you, Stephen Durbin, for your stickers. Very cool. This is just a fun one. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but toolbox? I don't know. It might be, might fit. We'll see. And he got me a cool Ford Mustang, a little STP, yes, a Ford sticker, and these very cool stickers. So I had some people ask me about this cute little palm polisher. It's really simple to use. Just one button to turn it on. You plug it in. It's got this little disc that just spins, right? So I'm going to be using one of these five to six inch terry cloth bonnets for the polishing. It's a little hard to get them on these, but it's so worth it. I just kind of get a hold of it, get it to where I got it still really good right between the legs there. I put it on the bottom and I pull it towards the top and over. It's a little bit of a struggle. You just work with it a little bit and those little stretchy parts will go right over the edge and it'll have a nice snug attachment to the wheel and uh, you're ready to go. It's a nice little one. I'll put it in the description and the links down below so you can get one of your own also. I'm gonna be using McGuire's Ultimate Polish. It works really well on the paint. It's gonna give it that nice luster that it's 
just longing for. I'm also going to be using this rag to wipe off after I polish. So I'm going to do it in some steps. Got to shake that polish, right? I already shaked it up pretty good before I even started, but we'll give it one more since I'm just starting again. And we're going to apply some here. Oops. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, since the thing is really dry, we're just going to start with a nice amount on it. I'm going to put it against the vehicle, then turn it on, or you'll be sorry. And just kind of work in about a, whoops, in a two foot by two foot area. I've been dying to do this. We've just been so busy that I haven't got to do this yet. I've been wanting to get this polish on here. Make sure Gandalf stays shiny. And even shinier than it's ever been probably in years and years. It's very exciting. wipe that off oh my gosh that is just so beautiful I think it's just a little dry still not as shiny as I'd like to see it so we're gonna apply some more sucking it up right up here we go I kind of smear it around a little ah, it's still making it go everywhere okay hold on we're gonna go with it I just have to clean up my aftermath. Never know what's gonna happen until you do it. <laughs> I may have let it dry a little too much too. With this type of stuff, with the waxes and the compounds and stuff, you have to work with them while they're wet. If they dry too much, it's very, very hard to get them to wipe off once you're finished. it off. Let's see how that came out. Uh, much, much better. Yep, definitely needed more product with that new polishing buffet buffet <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say but anyways with a brand new one it uh, didn't have enough polish on it to get the job done so hey it's looking pretty darn nice okay we're gonna keep applying and keep on doing the whole door frame and then we'll kind of take a look and see how it's going Now what I'm finding is I waited way too long since I did the rubbing compound. We've been just so busy with the Texas trip and all that 
that it started to oxidize a little again. So it's going to take a little work. I may have to use a rubbing compound a little bit again and then polish. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to show you something. I don't know if my phone will be able to pick it up very well. Can you see how there is just a little bit of film in areas? It's just kind of, yeah, it's really hard to see in the picture. You can see it a little maybe, but there's areas where it's kind of cloudy looking a little bit. Even though I polished the heck out of it, and it is a lot shinier than it was. I mean, there's this here. Yeah, my camera just, it just doesn't do it justice. But believe me, there is some filmy looking stuff. If you see here, this is back from when I did the compound, rubbing compound. And even up here on the upper part of the car, you can see the chalking is starting to try to come back. So my fault. I waited way too long to get back to this project, left the paint exposed, and I should have continued to polish it immediately so that way it couldn't oxidize any longer. So I'll be honest with you, I'm not happy, as happy as I could be with the results of how this is turning out. I already made a video on doing the rubbing compound on the vehicle and it came out really nice and shiny. Now that I'm realizing a couple of months have gone by, I don't know, time flies so fast. I thought it was only maybe a few weeks max, but it sat here long enough where it's starting to oxidize again, and I need to re-rubbing compound the whole vehicle. Not a lot, it's just gonna take a little bit just because um, it's already been done so well before but now I need to get it up to snuff where it needs to be. So that way when I do put this polish on, it's gonna look perfect just the way I'm wanting it to. So tomorrow I start my work week and what I'm going to do is each day I get home, besides eating some dinner really fast, I am going to work like a mad woman and re-rubbing compound the vehicle on those days. And then that way when my day comes off, I'll make a video and I will be ready to polish this entire video. Then I'm gonna wax it. So stay tuned, it's coming. I love how it came out so far. It is shiny, but it's not good enough. Take care, learn from lessons from me. Um, just side note, you can't go too long after you've done the rubbing, rubbing compound because it leaves the paint exposed. You've got to put on that polish and wax right away um, at least within a day or two, three days, whatever, but it can't be a long time. Otherwise, it just starts to oxidize again, kicks it up, and then you're back to having to do more work before you get to make it nice and shiny. All right, I'll see you soon. Stay healthy, stay well.